Today I am going through my makeup bag. It's been a while since I have last rummaged through here but I keep adding things to it so I feel like what I need to do is pick some pieces to keep in my makeup bag that I love using that I'm going to continue to use and then some others that I'm not quite loving or are nearly finished I'm going to declutter. So that's the task for today. Opening up, obviously the first thing in here are my makeup brushes. I keep them in this little pouch which is actually quite useful. It's just got my makeup brushes in there, probably in need of a clean to be honest. Which leaves us with the good stuff in here. So this is the makeup selection inside my makeup bag. This is a brand new L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Obviously I am keeping this. I feel like I always have a backup of these in my makeup collection and my makeup bag is no exception. So this is staying. This is going to be in no particular order. It's literally gonna be as I pick out pieces from in here. Next up from Pixie, this is the On The Glow Bronze Bronzing Stick. I do really like this actually, but this is a maybe. Also from Pixie, this is the Flawless Beauty Primer. I've used this a couple of times, but it's just a bit too shimmery for me. It definitely has kind of like glitter particles in there. Not quite my cup of tea, so I'm gonna declutter this. Then from Hourglass, this is the Vanish Airbrush Primer. This is a beautiful product and it looks like it's got a lot in there, but it actually doesn't. I've been scraping the product from the side. I've opened this up as well and it really basically just has products on the sides of the tube really. So I'm going to declutter this because it is nearly finished, basically finished. So time to go. This is another mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in Waterproof. This is in a uh, like butterfly design. It was part of a collaboration they did. This, I didn't love this to be honest with you. I love a waterproof mascara. It's what I use all the time, but I have the L'Oreal one. This one's probably been open a little while longer as well. So decluttering. This isn't going anywhere. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Such a good clear brow gel. This is staying. I have a very mini Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. I'm gonna keep this to finish it up. It does still have quite a bit in there, so hopefully we'll finish this soon. This is the It's Cosmetics CC Plus Illuminator. I don't love this as far as the It Cosmetics CC creams go. I much prefer the original. I have this in the shade Light Medium, and I just think shade-wise, it's not quite right for me, so I'm going to declutter. Tweezerman and eyelash curlers, these are staying, love them. From YSL, this is the Lash Clash Mascara. This is such a nice mascara. It has a really like thick brush. It's such a nice one to use. This is probably very nearing the end of its life, but I'm gonna hold on to it a little while longer. Another Pixie Beauty product. This is the On The Glow Blush in the shade Fleur. This is a really pretty one. It's a cream blush and I do quite like it. So this is another maybe. Another cream blush, this time from Hourglass. I love these blush sticks from Hourglass. They're just so nice. This is in the shade Wonder. Probably gonna keep it. Literally one of those products that I just keep coming back to. From Lancome, this is the Tonti Doll Wear Ultra, no, Tonti Doll Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I do really like this one. It is in the shade 2. I'm going to hold on to it. However, one that I have been holding on to for a bit too long is this concealer from Bare Minerals. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer in the shade Light. This is actually old packaging, discontinued, so I think it's time to say goodbye. Another tool in here, this is a pair of tweezers and tweezers, always good to have on the go, and they come with this really good like travel case, which is excellent for a makeup bag. From Too Faced, this is the pomade in a pencil. It's essentially a brow pencil. So on one side you have the pencil and on the other side a spoolie, which is very helpful in a product like this. This I have in the shade Dark Brown and I'm gonna be keeping. Very, very unsure about this next one. So this is the Sculpted by Amy Velvet Veil Translucent Powder. So 
Firstly, it's a white powder, which I don't love, but secondly, the packaging of this is just not great. It's always, always, always spilling out in my makeup bag, which is just not ideal, so I think I'm going to declutter it. From Benefit, this is the Gimme Brow Plus in the shade 4, so this is a tinted brow gel. Love this, so going to keep it. I have a little compact mirror in here as well, definitely keeping. On the foundation front, I have this NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I have this in the shade Patagonia. Very, very nice foundation. I have two in my makeup collection and this one I keep in my makeup bag. A very nice one, light, easy to blend, so I'm going to keep it. Next up, a jumbo size Urban Decay All Nighter. This is actually the full size, which admittedly I think is a bit too big for like daily use. So much so that this doesn't actually fit in my makeup drawers, which is why I have this in my makeup bag. Again, I'm going to keep it. This is the vitamin C one, which I really like, particularly in the summer. So again, keeping. From Hourglass, this is the Veil Eye Primer. A nice little primer for any eyeshadows, so going to keep. And for eyeshadow, I just have this Naked palette. It's an Urban Decay palette. It is the Naked Sin palette. It's very, if I can open it, it's very much just like the neutral, kind of nudey, pinky shades, which I think are very nice. So very compact for a makeup bag as well. So keeping that. A Rogue Beauty Sponge in here. This is literally new. I just don't use it a lot, but I have it just in case. And lastly, I have the Earth Angel palette by Benefit. This is a very nice palette. Inside, it's got a bronzer, two blushes, and a highlighter as well. So it's a really good palette that has essentially everything in there. So very good one, useful for a makeup bag and going to keep as well. Finally, left just with lip products. Now this is slightly trickier because, uh, I don't know, I feel like I always have an excess of lip products anyway. So first up, my two lip liners, both of which are staying. This is Max Ruby Woo, and then this is Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. So two very popular shades, both I'm gonna keep in here. Two MAC lipsticks next, one is of course Ruby Woo and the other is Velvet Teddy. So Ruby Woo here, Velvet Teddy here, again, two classics from MAC, so both of which I'm going to be keeping. These are essentially like duplicates of what I have at home and also in my makeup bag, so they're like firm favourites. Then Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk as well. This one is so nearly finished, so I'm sure I will be finishing this off soon. And then from NARS, this is one of the velvet lip, liquid lips or something. And I don't know, I don't, I don't love this to be honest. I find it a little bit messy sometimes. So I think I'm going to declutter from here. Then from Maybelline, this is one of their lifter glosses, which is actually very nice. And I do enjoy using this. However, the last time I used this, I got a cold sore. So I don't know if this is now like contaminated. So I'm just unsure about that. And I think I'm going to declutter just to be safe. Then from Honest Beauty, this is one of their glosses. Really, really like these. I actually haven't used it in a long time, admittedly, but I do love them and it's like a nice brown shade, so I'm going to keep it. Then from Bare Minerals, oh my gosh, I used to love these. They're their like Bare Pro lip things, but I don't know if you could tell. The lip thing is actually stuck in here, so it's basically broken. Gonna have to declutter that. This is from NARS. It's in the shade... Toled, I believe. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but a very beautiful shade, just like a nice neutral colour. I guess a maybe. Lastly, from Bare Minerals, this is their lipstick in the shade Memory. Very, very pretty lipstick. Again, another maybe. So that's left me with a nice and empty makeup bag. So I'm going to pop in all the bits that I am keeping. So, just so that I know what's in here, what I need, and what I don't need. So, 
so we are looking like this now these are my maybes just unsure and then these are my decluttering pile so not too bad to be honest with you what i'm going to do now is go into my makeup drawers and see what i can have to replace the pieces that i'm decluttering hello makeup drawers this is unusual for me to show you in here at this time of year this is typically a like spring cleaning job for me but as i'm going through my makeup bag i need some pieces to replace so i'm going to come in here and pick and choose i'm not going to go through absolutely everything i do have a video that i filmed back in the spring and i will do another one this coming spring as well so for now this is what we're working with there are a few pieces that i am particularly looking for so that's what i'm going to start with four primers that i have in my beauty drawers in my makeup drawers so because I decluttered the two primers in my beauty bag I need to replace them so I have this sculpted by Amy beauty base protect all-in-one moisturizing primer then I have this honest beauty everything primer matte a Laura Mercier pure canvas primer hydrating and from YSL beauty this is their glow in balm so these two are the currents that I have open so I think I want to go for one of these just because they're open and I want to use them up quicker basically. I'm thinking the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. It's a very good size and I know I like this as well so it's a good one to pop into the makeup bag. Something else that I removed was of course my like tinted moisturiser. So I do have a few options here. I have the original It Cosmetic CC Cream, which I do really like. So this is very much a feasible option. Also from YSL, this is their new Bare Look Tint. Very tempted by this. I'm actually tempted to do both of these, the Glow In Balm and the like tinted balm so maybe that's an option and then from trini london i have the bff d stress tinted moisturizer so this is brand new which makes me want to keep it in here then i'm torn between either popping in my it cosmetic cc cream which i know i love or putting in this duo just because i've had this for a while to be honest with you it's not a, a new launch by any means so Maybe I'll put in these two for the beauty bag. Meaning It Cosmetics CC Cream goes back in here. Oh, I did also have this actually, the Super BB Cream by Aborian. This is something I keep taking out of my collection and then putting back in my collection. But I think I'm going to leave it in here for now. I do need a powder and I currently have three powders in here. I have the Hourglass Veil Powder. Love this. I used it on holiday and just adored it. So... I wanted it in my collection here, which then leads me to want to put the Laura Mercier in my makeup bag because I do also like this, so it's one that I know I like, and also I have the mini version as well, and I feel like the mini version is a great travel option, so I'm going to keep that in my makeup drawers, but the big one I'm going to pop into my makeup bag. I am looking for a new concealer as well and I think I'm going to put in this one. This is another product I loved in the summer. It's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Wheat which I do think will be too dark for me pretty soon. So I'm going to make the most of it. It is also like nearly finished so a good one to add to my makeup bag. I also have that concealer in two other shades. I have Light Vanilla and no fair vanilla and light cashew so these are staying in here but i could easily swap out when i lose my summer tan i think i'm going to put in a new mascara as well because that ysl lash clash is nearing its end um i have opened recently these two so the telescopic lift by l'oreal and Lancome Monsieur Big. I don't like either of these to be honest with you. Telescopic Lift does absolutely nothing for my eyelashes and the Monsieur Big unfortunately transfers on me so both are pretty disappointing so I don't think I'm going to put any of these in my makeup bag. At home I'm currently using the Lancome Lash Idol in Waterproof. This has surprised me so much. I love it. You can see I do have backups of my L'Oreal Lash Paradise here but currently I am really really loving the Lash Idol in Waterproof. It is very very good. So keeping a hold of that and then for my other ones that I have in here 
I mean, I have a Too Faced Better Than Sex Chocolate Mascara, which is basically the mascara in brown. Um, I've got a NARS Climax Mascara, which I have used in the past and I do really like. I have an Authored Mascara, which I've not used yet. And then I also have the Maybelline Sky High. This is actually in waterproof as well, so I do need to test this out at some point. I also have the original Telescopic by L'Oreal. I have this Honest Beauty one, which actually has a primer and mascara. Hmm. I'm really unsure, to be honest with you. I do think this is also waterproof, Bad Girl Bang. What about this? That is an eyeliner. This is a Lancome Hypnose Drama. Hmm. Quite a lot of mascaras to try. I hate opening new mascaras, if you didn't realize already i think what i'm going to do though is put in the honest beauty one definitely and potentially the authored one or i'm just going to leave it here for now oh and this is actually a brand new mascara by benefit it's called fan fest still in the packaging i received this really quite recently excited to try so that can take the space in there i would like to add another blush just because if I'm removing those pixie sticks, then I want something that kind of replaces that. Because then I have powder products, but no cream products. So I have this Trish McAvoy liquid face colour. And then I also have this from Laura Mercier, their tinted moisturiser blush. I think I'm going to put in this from Laura Mercier, which is the tinted moisturiser tinted moisturizer blush in the shade Provence. So here we go inside my makeup bag. This just looks like a mess, but I feel like there's no like clear and tidy way of sharing the inside of a makeup bag with you. But this is what I've ended up with. I hope you enjoyed the video. I do feel like it was kind of a random one, but this needed to be done and I thought it'd be quite nice to share with you as I got to share some makeup products that I am loving and I hope you enjoyed watching the video.